The Enzo Keenan House was built in 1868 by Dr. Joshua Fulton Enzer, a major in the Union Army during the Civil War who was sent to Columbia to treat wounded Union soldiers. The house was purchased in the 40s and later restored by uh, the Keenan Oil Company. Uh, of course, this house, and many of you who are, uh, and I know there are several uh, historic preservationists uh, here, uh, recognize the name uh, Enser. It has a connection to the Bull Street uh, District. It was um, obviously, uh, he was also the second, um, uh, Dr. Enser was the second medical superintendent of the, of the state asylum. Uh, on that campus. You know, this uh, city, long before um, I was here, many of you have, have been uh, in Columbia for several decades, um, about a half a century ago, a little longer than that, uh, began to finally recognize its commitment to historic preservation, recognizing the importance of preserving our past, uh, some of the painful um, uh, images of our past, but certainly uh, those uh, historic structures that, that, that create a sense of place in neighborhoods, and if you have the wonderful opportunity to adaptively reuse those structures and put them into the public realm, into the public domain, so that it helps build and sustain and, 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 and edify communities is a wonderful opportunity. Uh, uh, some of our community leaders, uh, uh, when I walked up, tell me that every time uh, Mr. Davis walks into their meeting, they want to know what's up with the Keenan House, what's going on with the Keenan House. And, uh, and uh, just as um, uh, we see the redevelopment of Hyatt Park and Greenview Park and uh, Earlwood Park and even as far uh, south in the district as, as Roy Lynch Park. Uh, Sam has been uh, so amazingly committed uh, and, and dedicated to making sure that all these public spaces in District 1 uh, were not only um, uh, preserved but restored and, and, and given new life for a new generation. And we're seeing that uh, come to life uh, today here at the Enzer uh, Keenan House. Uh, before I, I take my seat, I just want to say thank you so much to um, uh, our incredible staff at, at, at Parks and Rec, uh, of course, Henry Simons and Randy Davis and just their entire team. Uh, they do an amazing job, particularly over the last year where things have been so difficult as we manage through the greatest pandemic uh, we've seen in, in over a, a, a century. So uh, Randy and, and Henry and the whole team uh, thank you so much. I'm going to step aside, and um, I always have to get a, a, a passport or a visa to come in the District 1 anyway. Sam requires that. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and step aside and, uh, and give uh, the microphone to my friend, uh, the incredible uh, councilman of District 1, Sam Davis. There's a saying out here, a lot of the um, historians and people who have uh, planted roots years ago. Um, and that is that uh, today is a good day. Uh, it's, it, it's about time. And um, we won't forget you. The reason this is a good day is because I had the opportunity to kind of do a little sneak walkthrough with staff uh, about a month or so ago. And very impressed. With the, interest, with the intricacies of the craftspeople, the workers, the folks who advised, I think, staff on, I think, what things should look like if you can't get it back to its original um, style and shape. And having a background in blacksmithing, through Philip Simmons in Charleston, I was impressed by the fact that those windows, take a look at them when you go in there, those windows were sent to Charleston for refurbishing. Not first, not second hand, not a hit and a miss. The delicacies of this building and what it meant what it does mean to this community and its history were all taken into consideration to make this day possible. And I want to congratulate not, not just the people who live in this neighborhood who are very, very close and in love with this building, but 
everybody in North Columbia, the historians who keep this city on the map and function as a magnet for folks to come here, and the citizens in general, this is a, an example of commitment, of pride, and a feeling of worth that the things we do, the things we enjoy, add value to everybody's life, whether they live here or not. And so I thank the staff on behalf of the city and thank the historians that worked with them and names we, don't, we probably won't, won't hear that made a commitment to do the right thing. And the bottom line in doing the right thing in this location was to take it back as far as we can to its original, its original shape, style, looks, and meaning. And so congratulations to everybody that made this day possible. Uh, the city thanks you, I thank you, and the visitors will thank you for making it possible for them to walk up those steps. Thank you. Again, um, I want to recognize our assistant city manager, uh, Henry Simons. Maybe just before Henry speaks, I want to ask our, our chairman of Richland County Council, um, Paul Livingston, to come and say a word in, in this age in which uh, intergovernmental, intersectoral, regional thought is necessary to, to advance uh, all of our common goals. Uh, there's no better partner at, at the county, um, uh, I, I dare say, city-county relationship than we could find in, in Paul Livingston. So, Paul. What a, what, a good, what a good day for historic Columbia, historic Richland County, and particularly this community. You know, I can, I can recall years back when there was a conversation about the Keenan House and, and whether or not Richland County government can play a role. And I remember when we did. Um, and as I said, it's been some years ago. As a matter of fact, um, uh, present here this morning um, is, is the former chair of the commission. Uh, well, the, the current chair of the, that commission is Carol Sosklowski, who, who's, who was the chair at that particular time. Even our former staff members here uh, at that particular time. So, so that what I'm, what I'm telling you is, getting you to think about it is, it's been a while coming. So, so we're happy to be here. Uh, and I want to thank all those uh, persons with our Conservation Commission, Richmond County, and also the staff for the collaborative effort here in making sure this happened. Um, as the mayor said, we are committed to collaboration. We're committed to working together to make things happen in our county. And Richland County, we always have to remind folks the city of Columbia is located in Richland County. It is our heart. We must make sure we're successful if we're going to be successful as a county. So again, I just, just want to just say thank everybody for the efforts, the, 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 the collaboration, the, um, the hard work um, for the community, the patience. I know it took a little patience. I know you weren't sure we'll ever get here uh, to this point, but we're here and we won't stop here. We continue to do what we need to do to continue to improve our community and make sure we continue to improve all of our historic sites and locations throughout our community. So thank you so very much and keep on pushing us to make us do what you think we ought to do for you and what's in the best interest of our community. Thank you so much, uh, Chairman Livingston, for your remarks and comments. Uh, good morning again to everyone. My name is Henry Simons. I am the Assistant City Manager of Operations for the City of Columbia. And, and yes, today is, a, today is a good day. Uh, thank you so much for your uh, presence today. Thank you to our mayor, uh, Steve Benjamin for his his leadership and continual support. Councilman Sam Davis, of course, who represents District 1. Thank you so much for your remarks and comments. We appreciate you very much. Of course, I want to acknowledge our city manager in her absence, Teresa Wilson, for her continued leadership and guidance um, and support uh, for the Parks and Recreation Department. Um, with such historical significance, it is essential that we maintain the very essence of the building behind us. Uh, so with this project, we have been able to totally restore 
the windows of this facility, as Councilman Davis spoke of earlier. Uh, the Ways of Wood completed the work of uh, restoring the windows. And Amy Moore, our principal preservation planner uh, for the City of Columbia, ensured that the restoration met the appropriate historical standards. Thank you so much, Amy, for your support. Uh, because of the historic value and design of these windows themselves, as Councilman Davis so eloquently spoke earlier, yes, we did have to send these windows to Charleston because of the design of them. Uh, we're grateful uh, for the work that's, that was done by the Ways of Wood organization. This portion of the project was supported by a grant that we received from the Richland County Conservation Commission. Um, we're grateful for their support. Uh, the grant was $29,403. Thank you so much for your support. And in addition to that, we were matched with a over $13,000 uh, of funding from, from the City of Columbia as well, with a total of almost $50,000 for the, the portion of this project. Uh, in addition to this, over the last few years, we have replaced the roof. Uh, all interior rooms have been painted. Uh, we have a newly renovated kitchen that you will be extremely proud of. Uh, we re the removal of asbestos that was in the building. Historical light fixtures have been replaced. We have revitalized the vestibule area to include tile work, enhanced landscaping, and a newly installed fencing in the front of the property. A new elevator has been installed at the rear of the actual facility. Of course, improvement to the front porch and the rear awnings of the facility as well. Um, a lot of work has gone into this project. And we will continue working on the exterior of the building in the next few months. We also recently received a grant from the Richland County Conservation Commission in the amount of $15,000 with a match from the city of, that totals to $18,000. So we're continuing to do the work to improve uh, this amenity behind us. Uh, we are very proud of what we have accomplished during the restoration process of the Insert Keenan House. This amenity within the city has created memories for many in our communities. We are grateful to be in a position to open this historical facility to the community once again. I want to take a quick moment to acknowledge a, a, a few people. Of course, as I referenced in my comments earlier, uh, Principal Planner, Historic Preservation and Development Services for the City of Columbia, Amy Moore. Thank you, Amy. Of course, um, thank you so much to the Richland County Conservation Commission for their generous support. Uh, Galice, Galice excuse me, Ganese Pearson, excuse me, and John Grego uh, of the commission. Thank you so much for your support. Quentin Epps, Richardson County Community, Community Planning and Development uh, Services, and all of our contractors that work on this project in particular. I know there are several contractors that are present with us today, and I won't get into naming names, but if you just raise your hand and let the community acknowledge your work um, on this project, Several of our contractors are here. Thank you uh, so much for your, for your amazing work. Um, thank you, as the mayor referenced, to our city uh, parks and recreation leadership team led by Randy Davis, our director. Um, also want to acknowledge Mr. Chris Campbell, our project specialist. He was the man in charge of shepherding this project. He did some amazing work coordinating with all of our contractors. So thank you so much, uh, Chris, for your support and leadership. Uh, Todd Martin, Todd Martin, our project our manager, uh, and all the work that he has done on this project as well. Jacqueline Williams, our program coordinator. All the flowers and the plants you see around this facility. Jacqueline, raise your hand. Where are you? I think she's still here. Thank you so much for your, for your work on this. And all of our staff, there's several of our staff members uh, with us today. Todd Martin, I think I referenced earlier. Tom Beasley back there. Um, thank you all so much, Carrie Rich and others who are present today. Ebony Kelly, who is my office manager that keeps the train moving. Thank you so much, Ebony, for your, for your work. Uh, so we're, we're grateful for all the work that has been done uh, here at this home, and we're ready for the community to enjoy this amenity once again. So now this time we'll have the president of Seminary Ridge uh, Neighborhood Association, uh, Dylan Gunnels, to provide some remarks. Dylan, thank you all so much. Well, good morning. My name is Dylan Gunnels. I'm the president of Seminary Ridge Neighborhood Association. I'm happy to, uh, to be here. 
I must admit, I've been asked uh, by some folks if I'm feeling any FOMO about not running in this year's municipal election, and I've said no, uh, because between that and the fact that I now have a job that lets me wear whatever I want, I get to wear whatever I want. But usually the podium at 5'5 five five covers the bottom half, so I do apologize for the shorts today. Uh, but I am excited to be here either way. Um, I moved into this neighborhood at the end of 2016, and I remember walking my dogs and wondering, what is this abandoned mansion? And I'm so excited to be here today to not be recognizing it as an abandoned mansion, but a key and crucial part of our neighborhood and as a part of the city. I must admit that this uh, location was on our agenda quite often at our neighborhood association meetings. This was a topic of conversation from many within the neighborhood just wanting to know when we would get to this day. So I want to say thank you again to Councilman Davis for always working with us through that and getting us to this point. Uh, we find ourselves at this time in our history and this year particularly very excited where we are as a neighborhood. Uh, we're seeing so many new folks move in. We're seeing properties being renovated, houses being updated. Uh, we're seeing folks coming back together as we hopefully, fingers crossed, continue to come out of this pandemic. Uh, we're seeing a community really coming together in this particular sector. And what we're most excited about is not only the diversity of those that are here, but the diversity of those that are coming and the diversity of those that have been here for a long time. And so what this house represents to me is not only an opportunity for us to gather, an opportunity for us to enjoy the fruits of the labor of a piece of property that represents so much history, but also represents a future that we can drive towards together. And so our hope at Seminary Ridge is that we represent as a neighborhood more of what Columbia is becoming as well. The excitement of what's happening and where we're headed in the future, but also as we continue to honor our history, learn from our history, and trek forward to that future together based on what we've learned and how we've grown. And so we're just, again, extremely excited that this is here, extremely excited that we can begin to utilize it again, and we hope that uh, Seminary Ridge can be a neighborhood association that really lays the trajectory and foundation for the future of our city together. So thank you so much for being here and for having me. I think the closer I get to December 31st, I'm gonna start wearing shorts too and see how you guys, <laughs> see how you guys like that. Uh, see, see how it goes. Uh, for some of you who don't have teenagers at home, uh, Dylan used the term FOMO, it's fear of missing out, just in case you didn't know what that meant. I didn't know it until my 14 year old told me what FOMO meant. Um, the, um, uh, to our, 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 then we have various members uh, of, of, of candidates running for uh, city council. I, I think you'll, um, once you're successful, if you're successful, you'll probably have the experience like Sam will have at his very next uh, Seminary Ridge uh, meeting. He'll walk in and he'll look for uh, some kudos on the answer Keenan House and he'll be, he'll be uh, challenged with what have you done for me lately. Uh, let's get to the next project, Sam. Uh, so, um, uh, but that's the nature uh, of, of what we do. A great city is a collection of great neighborhoods, uh, of, of pulling together incredibly diverse, uh, sometimes disparate uh, uh, en enterprises and pull them all together and creating this wonderful, wonderful um, uh, culture cultural base uh, for each and every one of us to, to thrive. So uh, Dylan and, and to all of the, of the neighborhood association leaders uh, who are here, who make our jobs uh, possible, give us the opportunity to serve you. I want to say uh, thank you and, and this former municipality of, of Eau Claire, uh, which, which still shows incredible streaks of independence uh, long after joining the city of Columbia. Thank you for your uh, continued uh, leadership. I think we're going to gather and um, cut this ribbon. Uh, take some photos and and all go check out the building together. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. Dylan, we'll do a countdown. Three, 